In this video, we're going to be checking out a brand new formative assessment tool called Game Show by Knowledge Hook. While it's specifically created for math teachers, there is a custom game show creation tool that will actually allow you to create any type of question. Uh, so this could be used across the curriculum. And the best part is it is not device specific. It's run straight from the web. So you can do this on a desktop, a smartphone, a tablet, iPad, Chromebook, whatever you're using in your classroom. So let's take a look. The first thing you're going to need to do is create a free account. There is a couple fields to fill in here, your first name, last name, a uh, few things like your username. Um, they do ask you for a school email address and that is to ensure that a teacher is actually registering for the program. I'm not exactly sure how they tell whether your email address is a school email address. Um, what I'm thinking is it just checks for common domain names like uh, Hotmail or Gmail and it disallows those types of emails. So in this case I'm using my simpatico email address and uh, as you see here when I press the continue button it's actually going to give me an error so I'll have to go back and actually put in my board specific email address. Now the next step is picking course selections. Um, first off you're going to pick your your province when if you're from Ontario like myself um, you've got actually free content that you can use. Uh, if you're from somewhere else you may not have included content however you could still utilize the tool to create your own game shows so those in Ontario are definitely going to uh, have a, a huge advantage here um, but talking to the founders of the company it sounds like they're trying to add some content and try to align it across different types of curriculum um, over time so definitely check back on that um, for me I'm a grade 9 teacher but I'm gonna pick all the grades just because you know what I want access to all of those uh, different questions like here you you can see this is um, the first class which is grade 7. Uh, if I go up to the top of the screen where it says class 1 um, from the pull down menu I'll be able to pick the different types of classes. For Ontario teachers so again if there's included content like you can see here you can actually customize these game shows um, you can rate it and uh, when I actually go to view or play a game show I'm definitely going to need to confirm my email address before I can do anything else so definitely make sure you get that taken care of before you want to actually run a game show in your class. Now once that email is verified you'll be able to actually view or play a game show um, in this case I'm going to just take a look at a uh, a current game show under the view option and you'll notice that I'll be able to actually add to custom game shows. So you could go through any of this content and actually create your own game show by just basically adding different questions to your own custom game show. Um, you can actually clone the entire game show and go in and edit the, the type of question itself. So tons of great things on the customization side. Uh, but again, if you're just looking for some quick content, you want to uh, work with your students and give them a, a fun, interactive way to review some content, uh, you can just hit the play button on one of these game shows. Um, you'll notice on the end timer option, I'm not a big fan of timers, uh, but in this case, once 75% of your class is done, that timer will begin. So if you're like me, I usually put something like four minutes. So once 75% of the class is done, that four minute timer will begin. I don't want my students to feel pressured. Um, once I run the game show, you'll notice kids are going to go to playkh.com and they're going to enter in the game pin that you see on the screen. So in my case, the game pin is mint 80, 82. Um, I believe that's going to change each time. However, I'm not, uh, I, I don't have confirmation on that yet. Um, tomorrow will be only, I guess, the second time I'm using this, uh, this tool, but I definitely wanted to share that with you. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to wait for students to join the room. So let's go ahead and do that right now before we actually begin the game. Now, since I'm just creating a tutorial here, I'm actually going to use Reflector to mirror my uh, iPhone to the screen, and I'm going to pretend on my phone that I'm a student. So I'm going to go to playkh.com. I'm going to type in that game code or that game pin, which is Mint82, and uh, you'll notice that the students just have to enter their name. They don't have to create accounts and uh, they can even select an avatar. So I'm um, trying to gamify it a little bit here it looks like, which, uh, which I think is pretty fun uh, regardless of the age. So now that I've clicked the join button, you'll notice that Kyle Pierce has joined the room and uh, it tells me on my phone that I'm in. So now all I'm gonna do is just rearrange my screen a little bit and then start the game to begin.
So the first thing I notice on the student side of things is that uh, the the view and the the actual user interface looks very very friendly. Um, it's got kind of a minimalistic uh, sort of approach. Um, question the uh, the colors are, are pretty bright and modern. Um, again, this is a multiple choice type question. Um, however, you can actually have open response type questions as well. Now, each time a student answers a question correctly, they'll actually earn, a, earn some experience points. And uh, in this case, they also give you a time bonus. So again, I'm not a huge fan of time, uh, but right now uh, my students seem to uh, really enjoy the idea of the leaderboard. Uh, but uh, they do say um, that there's going to be some, some changes coming to make it even better in the future. So in summary, um, some of the things I really like about this is if you are in an Ontario and teaching math, you've got content already in this app. Um, unlike other programs like Socrative or if you're even using Google Docs and you know or Google Forms and you have to create your own content, this is really nice because a, a teacher can really just pop in here and uh, search by expectation in order to get some content and uh, and and help engage their students in into some. Um, some diagnostic or formative assessment. Um, again, you don't want this to be your summative assessment, uh, so to speak, um, but I've heard that some of the other content that they have in here, including some of the homework um, features that they have or practice problems, um, you can actually go in and students can actually upload solutions. So lots of cool things coming from Knowledge Hook, it looks like. I'm really excited to see what they do with this. Um, so again, if you're an Ontario teacher, uh, especially if you're grade nine applied, teacher or a grade nine academic with EQAO coming up and standardized testing, um, definitely jump in here, take a look. And again, make sure if you're in another subject area or if you're from a different part of North America, jump in and create your own custom game show. Um, you're going to have a, a shell that actually is more powerful than what I've seen in Socrative. Um, so I'm definitely going to be using this for some of my own custom uh, clicker type quizzes online. So um, have fun with it. Leave us a comment. Let, let me know what you're thinking about it and, uh, and if you've seen any other uh, really cool systems that are out there currently.